Hello there, welcome back to tonight and hope you guys are well. I'm going to run and say I've got the second third of the Advent Calendar. I'm going to do a quick recap of what actually was my thoughts on this second third and what the Advent Calendar is looking like going into this final third. So, as a quick recap, what we got in this, you know, from days 9 to 16, we had Scout Trooper and Speedbike on, this, on separate days, but they were included. We had our weapon stand, the droid from today, as you know. We also had the Tuscan Raider and his weapon stand. Like trying to crowd all these in. We had the Tuscan Rider Blaster, and we also had the X-Wing, which is here, and we also had the TIE Fighter from there. So, we just move the camera in a little bit just to add, maybe see if we can fit them all in there. A little bit more, there's a lot more bigger builds in this one, so we're definitely kind of like that. Again, their character ratio, this time we only got one figure in this kind of third, and that was our good man the Scout Trooper over here, who I'll just give you a little bit of a closer look of, so he is right here. I don't think that's bad, because the Scout Trooper's a very nice minifigure, as we can see. That's the face ring, and there's the helmet. But I definitely think, you know, what have we got left? We've still got, obviously, the Mando and the Grogu figures, and then we've also got IG-11. So, this next third's going to have quite a few figures in it, and... I don't know, you might like that, you might not. So, probably the figures are probably the main reason why you may have bought this advent calendar. But, you know, let's see what happens. So, I don't mind this third, and I kind of like the builds. I think they're very nicely centred. As you can see, we've got some Tatooine builds. We've got the droid, which I really don't know where he's from. And then we've got some more Imperial-style builds with, you know, this lot. And also, obviously, the X-Wing over here. So... I think that, you know, it's quite a nice one. I like how, in this bit, we've got the weapon turrets, so they definitely, you know, you've got the Tusken, you can have the Tusken Raider against the Scout Trooper and the Stormtrooper from the, thir from the first third. And I like how, you know, it's still got that Imperial kind of vibe, kind of style, you know, and the Scout Trooper and his bike with, you know, Stormtrooper and the E-Web over here. I'll just move this out of the way for that. So, you know, you've got some Imperial-style builds. I think that's quite nice. I like how, you know, it's kind of centred. I know how they said it's Mandalorian themed, and I understand kind of why, you know, how we have, you know, this remnants of the Empire and everything from Navarro over here. And then we've got when he was on Tatooine with, you know, our friend the Tusken Raiders and everything. And I, I think that's quite nice. I think for this third, I actually think the ratio kind of worked well in this third, even though you only got one figure. I think it worked with the weapon stand, kind of helped to build up your more Imperial kind of style of things. And I think also the expansion for Tatooine as well with, you know, Tusken Raider Stand and the Blaster. I think it also kind of helped the Tusken Raider stuff. And I think also the thing I like is we have, again, two contrasting ships. We have the X-Wing. We have Luke's X-Wing, to be precise. We know that because of the R2-D2. And we also have a TIE Fighter. And I think that's quite nice how we have the contrast of ships. You know, they can fight each other. And like with the first third, where we had Razor Crest and then the Bounty Hunter ship. So I think that's quite nice how they're continuing through those contrasting ships. And I think that's quite nice. And I think, you know, even though you only got one figure, I feel like this third definitely worked well. Whereas with the last third you had two figures, a cannon, and then a lot of vehicles, which weren't bad. They just maybe weren't as well linked. I mean, overall the arching theme is Mandalorian, and that works fine. But I feel like, you know, these two... I like this one. This one feels a little bit out of place. And it feels like, you know, they're not very contrasting kind of style, whereas, you know, what you'd probably more want to be playing with is these two, and then obviously the targets. And I feel like, you know, that Tusken Raider Cannon has really added another whole play feature, because what you could have is, you know, you could have, I don't know, you could have your barrack wall blocking there, your Stormtrooper over here with the cannon, and then just position them there. I think that works better. And then you could also have them having one target over here. And then you could have, you know, the Tuscan Raider setting up with his camp. Over there. Yeah, he's in the shot now. Over there with his kind of, you know, blaster. And then their own target here. And, you know, you could have two people battling out, see who can hit the target first. So I do think that's quite nice. I definitely think that this third has really worked quite well. And I think it's worked really well with this, you know, wave so far. Now, as we know, the next bit will be a lot more Christmas kind of style with that, you know, nice Christmas Mandalorian Grogu figures. So I definitely look forward to those. And I think so far the Senate is definitely working well. And I like how they've stuck to one overarching theme. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
I'll see you soon, and may the force be with you.